Hello everyone, it's me again, GW fan the Softcore Brony, welcoming you back to Collapsing Manufactories on Let's Play Philly Fantasy VI. Ah, uh, yeah, and you agreed to that, apparently kind of naively. Well, you were pretty bullish in the comics too, in the sequel one. were fooled then, so we can believe this now. Surely he'll listen to you. You're his best friend. She is. Now, here, well, we're automatically healed after all that craziness before, and we also get a save point, and if you need to level grind, you can't, because we can't get, well, back up there and do anything so if you end up having a really hard time with this part of the game you might be kind of screwed and have to do it old save or save state or something so anyway i'm gonna re-equip the party real quick and be right back Alrighty, i'll go over all these new espers that we got a little later but for the time being i specifically well because celestia is about to get a level up uh, I specifically have her equipped with Star Swirl as opposed to Firefly or Powder, which would, and, or Fizzy, which would also be a very powerful, uh, right here. And, well, Flash I have with Powder kind of as a backup, but in any case, I'm equipped with my Sapphire and Citrine Rings, except for Scootaloo, because she can deal with enemies around here with, thanks to her uh, elements related to her abilities there, so, or at least the boss, anyway. Now, this is a bit of a different, well, quite a bit different from the original here, because in the original, you could use this as per here, Majesty, or uh, Phantom in the original, which makes the party invisible, or in other words, cast the Vanish spell on the whole party, which makes them immune to all physical attacks, but any magic attack will be guaranteed to hit. Now, the problem is that in this mod, the enemies here, the random encounters, that is, well, not so random, but the enemies here have magic attacks now, which is new, so you could have used that to protect yourself, but no more. <laughs> so anyway, when you're ready to go, talk to Hope. Uh. Ah, I see. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of true. Not to mention the original uh, Princess Amore from a thousand years ago, which, well, we're actually going to hear about way later in the game. But anyway, Discord's found us, apparently! Although he's not teleporting, because... I don't know, chaos. Go! And we go on an interesting minecart ride. That's nothing like the one from Mario RPG. Here we can get into not really so much random encounters. I believe we get into five fights, and then we're going to do some fight something else. Now for these, I specifically want to use Minotaur because he's just, well, normally just strong enough to kill the red Mag Rotor, but not quite the purple one there with the magnitude 8, that is. And... Let's see, that should do it. The purple guy there is immune to Noise Blaster, but the red ones are not. Just so you know. And that's all the new enemies we're going to find around here. And in this mod, they can use Ice. I have that those Fire Elemental Protection Helmets. That's from, the I think, the purple guy there. Uh, for a different reason. For the boss that we're going to be fighting at the end of the tracks here. So we should get into about four more fights and then fight a boss. And a bit different from the original game. And we also get this kind of, uh, well, not so interesting looking. Oh, they're all going to hit me before I get to do anything, aren't I? Oh, no, got him. But you have this, yeah, not so great looking, uh, <laughs> well, what we're looking at in the next part. Stuff. And those guys give us the Flame Edge, which is uh, that throwing weapon that Photoshop can use. That's actually kind of nice to get a couple of those for now. For later use, that is. Yeah, this doesn't look so great, but eh, it's cool enough. Unfortunately, the Mag Rotors are immune to instant death, so Chainsaw doesn't always work out so well. Maybe I should use Flash instead. Flash the weapon, that is. <laughs> so... 
Anyway, not a whole lot to talk about during this part, but, well, this is here. And also, if you need a little bit of healing, which Scootaloo does, uh, have Flash do it with Cure if you have to have it. You'll want to save Celestia's MP as much as you can. Well, thanks. Yeah, if you come up in a situation where she headbutts instead, you will probably want to just annoy Slash with these guys instead, so that they don't hit Scootaloo with Ice or Ice 2! Thank you for not hitting Scootaloo. Ugh. Wow, thank you for not hitting Scootaloo! Sheesh! Yes, I know they'll hit each other with it and, well, heal themselves, but who cares? <laughs> They're gonna die from this anyway, so... <sighs> Anyhow... Oh, so let's see, level, and she has a little bit more magic, which actually should help a lot, I think. Oh, I'm kind of unintentionally teaching Flash some magic, too, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> let's see, one more fight? Yeah, and then we'll fight the boss in the next round, so anyway... Scootaloo, if you don't mind. If you don't have Scootaloo, this part could be a lot harder. You're going to want to give your third character uh, the Citrine Rings uh, as well, and the Sapphire, uh, Sapphire and Citrine Ring there uh, for the upcoming area. Or, not upcoming area, upcoming boss. So, thank you, Flash. <laughs> Good thing I didn't hit Scootaloo with that. Anyhow, now is where things get a little bit more interesting. And frankly, much harder than the original game. Because here we have one of, surprisingly enough, one of the more difficult boss fights in the game. Another rematch with Gilda. And it's because, partly because of those nodes, which I want to summon to just get rid of them right off the bat. And otherwise, Scammer, first of all. And I want you to start using Debilitator and Gilda. Actually, can you kill them now that you've got that one extra bit of magic? Well, you can kill one of them. She can randomly kill both of them, but it just didn't work out. But Scootaloo finished the job for me. Now, otherwise, I want to kind of sit around here and wait for her to re-summon those guys. See, now I specifically want to use Leafer, yes, because Ice Elemental Protection. They can use all three elements, plus Wind, which... I think Scammer is actually in, uh, absorbs Wind. So that's at least good. What did she just get beat to? I didn't notice. Ow. Okay, heal. I think I should, should still have enough. Oh yeah, should I? I, mean, I think I should still have enough to cast that one more time against you. Oh, and I need you to use Rhinotar. So that you are immune to lightning now. You're gonna use that already? Shark. As opposed to another word I could use, since you're female. Okay, <sighs> summon. No, oh, do I have enough MP for that? Now, if she has a weakness to water, you're gonna wanna go ahead and use Wear Rat, because that'll make you immune to blind. But since I'm not, or since I actually I don't know if she's immune because she's weak to water yet, because she's otherwise immune to it, then I'm gonna resort to Minotaur. Oh good, I did have just enough MP. So now, if she gets weak to lightning, that'll be even better. I want to use one of those cider mugs I stole earlier to give to Celestia so that she can cast magic again and potentially kill those guys. I guess I'm not really going to need Flash then for that particular purpose. Anyway, basically I'm relying on Scootaloo to do the vast majority of damage if she'll just attack freaking Gilda instead of those other guys. Because otherwise, this isn't too bad, really. It's mostly the nodes that are annoying. And get summoned, please. Yeah, I guess I didn't really need Firefly, but oh well. I suppose if he was about to get a level up, then whatever, but... And by the way, the two nodes are affected by instant death. So you can occasionally get Chainsaw to work really well on them. If you... Okay, Celestia, I need you to heal. You'll still have enough to summon if need be. Water? Oh, I can use uh, the other one now. Please hit! Do 
single target and hit her, because she... You were already ready to attack before that node came back, so... That should actually be good. Oh, darn it. Oh, well. How much damage is that gonna do? Oh, it doesn't... Oh, they're immune to that. Alright. Well, maybe I can get, get in with, uh... Yeah, let's, uh, go ahead and try that. Shall we wear rats? So then I can blind, and then I can use the other one. And now summon, please. No, that didn't work out so well. Actually, do you have enough energy to do that? Did I heal that? I hope I just did. That is not gonna get you with what I want. Give you another cider mug. Boom. Well, almost got both. So now, yeah, let's still use an angle form since she's weak to water now. Well, oh, actually, not out. Ha! No, oh, good thing I just did that. I suppose I could use Debilitator on her. Not Debilitator, just Spell on her since she's being annoying, but I need to heal right now. Definitely don't want my HP to get too low there. Yeah, I suppose I could use Spell or even Slow on her. That does work on her as well, but. Dang it! Came back already. Yeah, those will keep on coming back infinitely, unfortunately, so... Even if there's just one of them, they'll just keep on coming back. So, yeah, this fight, not really hard, per se. just can take a while if you're not ready for it. Start summoning... Darn it! <laughs> Dang it! Fine, chainsaw her, but don't use her as a death attack, please. Yeah, this fight will take a while. Well, now she's probably, hopefully, please kill that. You you do have the ability to do that with a good dice roll. Or you could miss her all together because, oh yeah, because he wasn't up there, but thanks, that worked. Well, so much for using angle form. <laughs> anyway, yeah, not terribly bad, but that can be a really long fight if you're not ready for it. So, that was probably the best strategy I could come up with, since I don't have elemental claws to make that fight even faster. But, oh well. Oh, we got a tent for our efforts, nice. Now we're out of this part, so that's pretty much the hard part of this place. Ha! And save point up there. Do I want to? Yes, I do. Uh, let's rearrange our equipment real quick, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm re-equipped. Actually, what do I have Celestia equipped with Esper-wise? I do not need Star School anymore. I'll start you learning Powder for the time being. And again, I'll go over those Espers down there later. So, let's see. Otherwise, I am equipped pretty much for all magic and all that, but there's still at least one more new enemy we can find in this area. Plus, this is your last chance to find those Trapper enemies, which actually come with one of the enemies I'm looking for. So... See what we get here. Chaser and Tiny True. That's not bad. Chaser is a new enemy. I definitely want to have that for uh, this part. So, make form. I don't really care what. Ow! You little jerks. Uh, yeah, I want to heal. Unless you kill them all. I don't think she'll kill the Chaser, but. That was a lot of damage to it, though. Ah, uh, that's an interesting ability. Its level is never cut in half, so it'll actually take more damage now. I think. Well, no, it can't do as much damage for one. I don't care if Scoot's blinded right now. That's not really a big deal at all. Oh, and yeah, angle form. Actually, I shouldn't use Aspect, because it's specifically weak to lightning, but she'll pretty much kill it with this anyway, so... But you know, that by itself, because this move also suffers from split damage, so... ha! Now that I got that enemy, that's good. Plus, I met the Trappers earlier. That's another rather important enemy that I uh, wanted to meet for later purposes. Not because I want them for Scootaloo, but, well, other reasons. Uh, good thing I have all those antidotes. Let's see, are we close? Not really. Alrighty. Only a little further to go. Actually, we're getting a lot of experience points from these guys. Dude! Sheesh! Anyhow! Now, before we go too much further, do I still want to meet that 
another variation of the chaser, because he can come with those trappers as well, though he'll call them in after he's defeated. I wonder if I should get that battle. It actually might be beneficial to do so, so I'm not going to uh, stay with it, but I am, uh, I'll just run from it, but I do want to find it real quick. So, for later purposes. Oh, your guys are still here. I didn't know that. Oh gosh! Ow. Don't die, don't die. I can meet the cyber troop in a group of four. Holy crud, that was dangerous. I didn't know I could meet them out here. Sheesh. You know what? It's not really that necessary. So, anyway... Hmm. You know, I wonder if I should grind out those last two levels since I'm getting like 300 plus for every battle here, but... Yeah, you know what? No, let's not do that. Anyway, I've healed everyone up, and I specifically want to change to the Water Elemental Esper Fizzy, who also is well, one of my favorite G1 characters. Not my absolute favorite, but among my favorite. She's just kind of funny like that. And I also, as you can see, have Celeste oh, almost fully decked out in uh, magic boosting equipment. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we're all boosted for that. Not that I care about that with Speed and Flash. But anyway, getting over here. Oh, well, even though you don't know we're not changelings yet. <laughs> fully. Uh, yeah, about that. I kind of lost her. <laughs> Long story. Alrighty. Anyway, automatically leaving. And we're not going to be able to come back here for a little bit, either. And we are never going to be able to get back into the Manu Factory, so if you missed any items there, they're gone forever. Not that anything there is one of a kind, but... Unlike the original game where the Break Blade would have been, but the Bio Blade is not, so... Yeah! What are you going to do? What is that extremely convenient switch for? You're going to play the crane game? Somehow with Discord, I can totally see that. And also, as you can see, Dash seems to be in her party now. And in fact, just like every other character that joins us, she has... Uh, well, she's at whatever the party level average is. Hopefully it's like at least one level higher than what it usually is right now with all my test runs and also every other character who is not currently in the party will have had their level average at the moment as well so that's kind of why I was stressing about the whole level average thing what, what what now oh yeah that how in the world he managed to catch up to us with Mounted cranes, we'll never know, but you know what? He's Discord. He probably just teleported them into the air or something. Some, or maybe they stretch. I don't know, some craziness like that. But anyway, this battle against the cranes, not too bad there. Uh, let's see. Dash, let's get to you real quick and explain your slots ability, which, well, as you can see, is a slot machine. It does various effects depending on if you can get all three to match. Now, one trick you can do, see how there's a diamond? Well, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a diamond right there at the top. So if I unpause real quick and press A at the same, pretty, practically at the same time, I'm guaranteed to get a diamond. And as long as you get one diamond, oh, I was on Celestia, you will be guaranteed to well, get the rest of the diamonds there. Now, that ability right there is the only one among her slots that has been nerfed. Because now it suffers from split damage. Everything else is the same. Not that it makes a difference in this fight, because Celestia can one-shot both of these things anyway, and they can one-shot her back. Not that we get any experience or anything for it, so who cares? But yeah, that's... One, that's the only one of her slots that has been nerfed, as far as I'm aware. All the rest of them still ignore split damage, and I'll go a little bit more into those, as well as Espers and whatnot, uh, later. And Dash herself, as well. Ah! 
Yeah, Griffin Stone, that's right. You kind of need to figure, find out if, uh, see if, uh, well, Twy's condition has changed at all. Yeah, kind of a long story there, so. <laughs> Fortunately, though, we'll head there automatically. And doubly fortunately, we don't have to climb all the way back up the tower either. We'll just automatically go there once we arrive. So now we can find out how Twilight Sparkle's doing next time on Let's Play Philly Fantasy VI. Arrivederci!